Hi everybody, uh, today I just wanted to do a review of what happened Friday, September 23rd, 2022. Um, just look at the market and kind of discuss it with you. So I do a variety of technical analysis, primarily on the price action and uh, volume of the day. And that's basically how I go through and analyze uh, the day. So overall, uh, when you measure from peak uh, to, to uh, trough here, you see that basically we lost about 2% um, over the day. Um, and then from uh, opening to close, you can see it was uh, not quite 0.75%, uh, but uh, sometimes the numbers depend on earlier in the day and some other things, factors like that. So part of the big key to understanding what happened on Friday was that we lost so much ground overnight here, um, pretty much from here to here, from open to the 930 open, we lost about 1.2%, which is quite a lot to lose uh, overnight. Uh, when you think about it, most days we might not lose even a percentage point, um, we might gain a percentage point. Uh, you can see from data like this that a uh, vast majority of uh, days in the stock market are about 1%. Um, and today we are about just outside that range. So um, and if you include the peak uh, to trough, uh, it might even be around 2 or 3%. Another way to measure it is from VWAP open to close. So you can do from here down to here and then get the actual number, which is about 2.1%. Um, that's pretty safe to say um, as a comparison. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's the VWAP for yesterday versus the VWAP for today, for so Thursday versus Friday. So if we compare uh, essentially the day versus the week, this is the week chart here. And if I measure that uh, from peak to bottom, we get about 6.8% drop uh, in the market for the week um, in terms of the maximum extent of the uh, stress on the market. So how much worse can it get uh, day to day or week to week? Um, you can see here um, going back uh, this past week, we definitely uh, started the week more on a positive tone um, and then uh, it's just got worse and worse. So. Uh, down here, you can see that this MACD level, pretty much we're at the bottom of that. Um, we're probably not going to get nearly as bad as we were for COVID land, but you can see initially COVID land hit uh, quite hard about where we're at right now um, was the initial reaction to COVID. Um, and then in the following days, it got even worse uh, when the COVID uh, drop happened. So the drop essentially this week that we've seen and today has been quite significant. Um, relatively speaking, you can see that uh, we're not quite as bad as uh, these two other weeks. Uh, we had uh, 617 that was really bad, and then also on 612 was really bad in that area. So you can see overall, uh, starting at around midnight uh, Thursday, uh, things were kind of dropping quite a bit. Actually, they went up a little bit. Uh, and then there's a sudden drop around 3 a.m. Um, a lot of this happens, um, you see this typically, this is around midnight uh, West Coast time, uh, 3 a.m. Uh, East Coast time. But there's often kind of a drop in that range I've been seeing recently. Um, but uh, this really just started to drop a lot more significantly after that 3 a.m. drop. So things just did not look good um, until the morning got closer around 8 eight or nine o'clock. So right here at nine o'clock, things started to pick up again. So things were looking kind of positive right at the start of the day. So if you look carefully at the chart, you can see that there was a lot of volume right at the start of the day here, uh, 9.30 and so on, peaking around 9.34 or so. Um, but actually really 9.30, it looks like. Um, but a lot of that peak, a lot of these peaks were negative volume spikes in here. So you can see um, that wasn't looking good. And then another spike, a uh, fairly large spike right here. Uh, I think that's around 10, 12 a.m. So if you look at the start of the day here, you can see um, that prior to the open, there was uh, some positive pressure with negative spikes in, in, in here. But since we right at 930 open, things started to drop. So you can see all this volume here is negative. And then right after that, there was some positive volume that kind of came in 
uh, right in here around 944. Um, and then after that, uh, things just really dropped again, but not on a higher volume, just kind of lower volume. So people kind of gave up um, right around 948, I would say, um, in terms of the uh, positive side of things. Uh, so usually if you are going to see a positive side of the day, that's either going to happen really early in the morning or kind of late in the day, uh, right at the end, the near the bell. And we did see that here. We saw kind of, you know, a little bit of positive push here. When you compare the volume sides, uh, it was actually even maybe slightly more on the positive side, um, a little bit, uh, but it depends on the indicator that you use. The force indicator showed that all being pretty much negative, except for that little spike right in here, um, and then negative again. So there's really, uh, right at the start of the open, it was pretty pretty confirmed that it was going to be pretty negative um, for the day. Now, when you compare the force vector, you get about 17K here, and you get about 14K here, which isn't so great. Um, but these are quite a number of mounds you got. Uh, on the positive side, um, looking for a positive territory uh, here, heading back into the VWAP level right at the close. So in terms of the money flow in and out of the market, most of the day, you see that there was some money flowing into the market uh, prior to the open. Um, and then at the open, things money just flew out of the market. There was a one time during the day here, you can see around 10, 1027 or so that money did flow into the market and then after that it was pretty much all out of the market all below zero here you can see a couple spikes above zero but primarily uh in the negative territory uh, and then the biggest change was perhaps right in here which could have told us um that we could have been in the positive territory which is right around 1245 you can see that 1245 to uh, somewhere in here, uh, 103. So you can see that that had both vol positive uh, volume on it and it had a positive momentum on the price. So usually on the ATR, uh, average to range, we'll see a dip here. Um, so anything just short of that dip would be the interesting concerns. So we did see this right after that. So basically we saw um, that the average to range went up here and then a positive territory, but then the really down hit much harder um, on the average to range um, right around here. So this this little spike in here around 211 was very significant um, in terms of just kind of defining the rest of uh, the day uh, as well, the whole day, really, you could say. And if you study the news, the 2 p.m. time frame was another federal uh, Fed speech by Jerome Powell. So maybe that was also part of the concern uh, at that point. Uh, so when you look at the overall market um, for today, uh, you can see this is on a price to sales graph um, with also the change uh, in the day. You can see Amazon really was the one that kind of took the market down. You can also see Tesla really took the market down here. Um, and then you can see BHP Group, uh, Unilever, um, Morgan Stanley, Netflix taking things down pretty far. Asterix Centra, Philip Morris, uh, some others. But so the bigger the circle here, the bigger the market cap uh, on that uh, on that uh, one. So, and then kind of leading the market here was Eli Lilly, and perhaps some of these other. Um, you can see this this guy here. Um, not sure who they are, but uh, Novo Nordisk and some others ones. Uh, and uh, perhaps Johnson & Johnson doing the best here. So basically some more uh, medical companies kind of doing positive things for us on Friday. And then in terms of volume, um, you can basically see Tesla was the major volume player for the day. Uh, and then also Apple, of course, um, Microsoft being pretty high in volume uh, and all that. And this is volume in terms of US dollars. And so as you look around this graph here, you can see energy was hit uh, pretty hard here. Uh, financials was hit pretty bad, uh, but basically energy, you can see most of those companies hitting about 5% uh, down for just one day, which is a huge drop uh, for Friday. So even despite some of those problems, uh, looks like Home Depot went up uh, pretty good today. Aon, Micron Technology, Dollar General, AutoZone, and some others. Um, 
And on the struggling list for the day, uh, CrowdStrike uh, kind of having a little bit of a problem um, in terms of uh, being one of the largest market cap uh, public service and enterprise, Warner Brothers, Zscaler, Cloudflare, Snap, uh, and some others. So perhaps the big question for the week is on Tesla here um, with price to sales ratio of about 13. Uh, you can also see MasterCard, uh, Visa being way out here as well. Um, and then somewhat Eli Lilly, uh, Nvidia still, and even Microsoft with their price to sales being quite high uh, compared to most of the other rest of the companies back in here. So I hope you really enjoyed this study of what's going on in the stock market all around the world. Um, we're primarily looking at a lot of American companies, um, but there's companies all over the world, uh, a lot of companies in Europe here, uh, Africa, South Africa, uh, India, China, uh, really everywhere, uh, Australia, um, and so on. So um, hope you've really enjoyed the study. Uh, let me know if you got any questions. I'd be glad to uh, go through some details. Please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much.